video cut off just then all right and I said I'd make a part two so here I am with the part two because mm -hmm. we want to clarify this these upside down peccadillos okay first of all let's clarify this dick dealer this mattress bag this revelations 220 mm -hmm. the cum bucket let's have a look They're looking at you with their jealous, hungry eyes, envious eyes, right? Because wherever they went, that you new love is new love no more. They are getting it. They are dealing with them accordingly. Bitter and twisted. Putting a lot of shizne on the new love. Lord. Trust and believe they are putting their back into it. They're putting their back into being mean and breakeration of the heart that they're around. They're causing a lot of tears where they are. Mm -hmm. Because they are sick stuck, fixated on you, baby. They might watch you. They're thinking about all of you. Mm -hmm. They're looking at the growth that you've made. Right? They're looking at the growth that you've made. Right? The progress that you've made. They're looking at you sit on your throne as the empress that you are. Tap into your Kundalini energy. Right? But all they got is what? Fake love, straight up to your face. Yes, they, you was a victim of hate from the gate. They had a plan for you, darling dear. And that plan involved many, the whole, they are homosexual. Yes, baby. They get into relationships for a place to stay. So they can only have the strength of one bill to pay. Mm -hmm. The mobile bill to contact the horde. Mm -hmm. Bullshit, I say. I call him bullshit on that. What else was reversed? The Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords reversed? Let me catch that. With my cat like reflexes. Divine is saying, you're coming out of all, all that dark Asian that they was directing at you. You are protected. Right, there is no competition. You stand head and shoulders above these people. You didn't have a clear path when you got yourself out of it like Mission Impossible. Divine is telling you to continue to keep them on the blockation to the situation. Continue to be Easter Island. Continue to be Stevie Wonder. Because all they directed at you is being sent back. Strengthen those boundaries with these skullduggers, rat things, these bottom feeders that kept you stuck. In the lower soul resulting of the, 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 the lower parts of the root chakra in the past, I might add. This seven of wands is Leo energy, okay? As well as Mars energy. Continue to strengthen that blockation to the situation. It took a lot of, a lot of mental control and strong will. It was extremely challenging for you, my solution, to overcome that situation. But continue to fight and maintain your position. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you have the whole world in your hands. You have the whole world in your hands. Yes, you do! Right? This world card goes down to a three, which brings in the Empress, Kundalini energy, the Hangman, seeing things from a different perspective. The Hangman is also... Um, Neptune energy. This is about um, your inspiration, your oneness. This is you coming out of illusion, tapping into your psychic abilities, my solution. This also talks about you having ended that situation. It's a done dollar. Right? This nine of swords. Why is it in the reverse? The final out. Sorry, eight of swords. Because you're coming out of that mental torture, that ruminating. Why? Nine of Listen, you're cutting it out with the swiftness, 
right? That goes to nine of swords in the upright because whatever was directed at you is being sent back. Mm -hmm. This nine of swords is represented by air energy, okay? This is about you being swift acting and trusting your thought. Continue to stand with your opinion and if you are being called to defend yourself, act with a swiftness and go for that jugular. Use that first person that tries to cross you now that you're awake as an example for the others. Take them out, Scotty. Mm-hmm. You have to remember, right? Law number 44 of the 48 laws of power. Mirror your energy, mirror your enemies, okay? Timing is everything. Law 35 of the 48 laws of power, right? And always remember law 15 when you are dealing with the skulldoggers that are trying to test your gangster. Law 15 of the 48 laws of power. Crush them! Crush them so they don't come back. Let them be the example for anybody else that thinks that 555 five, five again, that come and step patient into your situation. You are the change prototype. Pink is up. Be that change. Live within it. Nobody, but nobody can test you on any levels. You went through that dark night of the soul. You were tested. What you turned your back on, continue to have your back turned. Divine will send in your true soul family to lift you up. But they cannot lift you up until you put yourself on that pedestal. Put yourself on that pedestal, my Venusian. Proverbs 31.10 Oh. Um. Everything's rocking down and falling off now. Right? You've turned your back on that toxicity, okay? With the two of ones. This is Aries energy as well as um, Mars energy. Mm-hmm. This, this also tells me... Sorry. I have to take a bit of a deep breath is then because I was getting a bit overcome with the heat. Right? You have to understand that the world is your oyster, my solution. Right? You have new lucrative ideas. Assess the progress that you've made since you put these people in the past. You are, you have been achieving goals. You have discovered aspects about yourself. Right? You have a strategy for your success. Continue to turn your back on that shizne and move forward. Right? Because what do you have in your future? The King of Cups. If you're going to get a king, get the King of Cups. This is somebody who is emotionally balanced, emotionally intelligent. This is a family man. This is loyalty. This is the loyal. Pupinos or Punani. Not this one. You don't want this one. This is the one with the bombs. This is the one that you have to go and look at it all to see what bombs have they got today. Because you know they've been servicing the horde. No, sir. Mm -mm. This is what you have coming towards you. Mm -hmm. This is um, water and fire energy. Somebody who is extremely responsible. Somebody who cannot be swayed. Someone who is a natural leader. Who is family oriented. Who is going to be stable. I want to be stable on you. Mm -hmm. And it's not like the last person that wanted to balance in all of your what you had to offer. This person is coming in equal states. Either on equal level or higher to raise you up. My Phenotion, right? Because what? They come with the Palace of Pentecale. The Palace of Pentecale? The Palace of Pentecale. Right? This is somebody who's going to be safe and secure. Somebody who's going to want to attend to all of your earthly needs. Mm -hmm. Me like the sound of that. Peccadillo. Yes, baby. Mm hmm. This is the castle, your castle in the back, the castle full of the pentacle, the good luck, the true love and loyalty, right? We also, this could also mean a marriage, one that is based, right, on true love. 
one that is healthy. The palette of pentacle means health, healthy situation, a situation that is cleansed of any negativity. A situation where you will be able to combine your passions and grow together, my Venusian. If you enjoyed this read, please thumbs it up. Okay? Let me bring out the FP calls. Then we're out of here. And you find oh look what was flashing out. Right? You dip, you are under the spotlight. This is not your time to be shy because divine is gifting you with true loyalty, right? Conflict and chaos. Look what's it. As you always know, new levels always new devils, but you know how to deal with it now. You know how to handle that situation, my solution, right? Oh, because divine is giving you all the help you need. You have those alchemist badass diva ways or devo ways, right? Time, time, time for some action. Thank you very much for your bookings and donations. They are, look how messy my, listen, I've got a flat iron this particular week. I haven't flat ironed it, I washed them and I didn't flat iron them. I just had to get to yoga this morning to balance out my chakras, don't you know? Like I was saying, leave the bottom feeders behind, continue to work on you. Your true divine partner is coming and you are going to get the blessings that you truly deserve. But you need to own that shit. And know that you truly deserve it. And be in expectation of it. Pinkies up. I do have a membership on my channel. Please join the membership. Become part of the prototype clique. Support me. As I support you, my Phoenician. And as I always say, from the ashes, baby. Namaste. Pinkies up. Namaste, my Phoenicians. Hi, it's Case. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. My Phoenicians, yes, pinkies up. It is Jupiter Thursday. Mm -hmm. So, this is the member's choice, and the member chooses themselves, don't you know? Mm -hmm. Why did that happen? Do you think it just increased by itself? It's not supposed to happen. Let me fix this. Because we'll be having no foolishness today. I couldn't dare put on my clinician's jacket. Not in this seat. Can't you see me with the wind at my back? There will be no death by polyester today. Not in my domicile. <laughs> Yays. Let's bring you down. I've just breezed back in from my yoga practice. That's why this video is going out a bit later this morning. My gym has reopened in the name of the most high. As you can see, I have my bone china thinking cup again today. And the correct chocolate. Yes, I was introduced to bone china by Carlisi Debbie Skyers. This is lint, almond and chocolate. Dark chocolate and orange. Straight out of the fridge, don't you know? Pinkies up! Absolutely delicious. Mmm. A piece fell on my hand. Guess I'll have to take that too. Always be kind to yourself. Treat yourself. VIP at all times. Prototype. Pinkies up! Mmm, 
the Colombian coffee blending in with the lint excellence orange intense almond and dark chocolate oh my mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I must put it down <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. Let's get it out of reach of my mitts, eh? Let's get the daily daily planet daily planet energies. Let's go through my notes. Move everything back. A tad. So that we've got space. Okay. Today is um, 13th of August 2020. The Gemini moon soars through the sky this morning, ramping up charm and curiosity. We should all be feeling a little pep in our step. Our minds are very active. Mm -hmm. Gemini energy can be a bit overstimulating for some. So be, be sure to monitor yourself with your breathing. Yoga, don't you know? Pinkies up. Highlights, stretching. Mm -hmm. Your star will shine brightly in the communication realm as the moon forms a sextile with Mercury. This aspect will help you feel confident in your knowledge and achievements and ready to share information with the world. Mm -hmm. Your social media will be on fire, my solution. So be sure to post an attractive pic. Don't you know, pinkies up, give them something to talk about. You know they like to talk about you more than the news. You're more important than the news. They set aside time in their day to discuss you. My Phoenician prototype pinky is up just off 444. This means that you are on the right path. You are being surrounded and guided. Continue to focus on what is for you. Uh -huh. As I nip. Stuff that square of deliciousness into my gaping maw. Mm. A square between Neptune and the moon could create a little bit of mental wonkiness. You might be feeling otherworldly today as well, but you'll still be feel driven to chat with others. And check your social media feeds. Oh, but even though you're feeling another world, you're still going to be able to keep up with what's going on. Always be aware. Remember, law 18 of the 48 laws of power. Isolation is dangerous. You need to be in the know, Pinky. Don't you know, proto jibe? I almost said Pinky jibe. Just saw 555. Five, five. This is change. A huge change that some of my Phoenicians are going through. That beautiful brain of yours will still be active and hungry for information. So put a nature. Uh, I don't know. You need to be in nature today. You need to be grounding yourself. Mm -hmm. You're going to be having, some of you are still having a touch of insomnia, waking up around the 3 a.m. mark. It's because you are getting spiritual downloads. You are upgrading my functions. If you've been in your spiritual, Spiritual quarantine. You are going through upgration. Upgration. Mm -hmm. Let's bring you down so you can see the cards. Let me move everything back a bit. Without mashing up all my things. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get the domino. <laughs> back up to the deck my Phoenicia <clears throat> we have a 5-1 mm -hmm. a 5-1 speaks of um, you meeting your new love interest they're coming into they are coming into the the 3D now mm -hmm. you're truly divine the guided partner but this is also saying that 
you must tread carefully because your previous situation was an extremely unhappy ending that tried to keep you in Bottomsville, mm -hmm. living in other worlds, left you cray cray. Cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. They did, don't you know? A five is about the five you know is my Hierophant card. Mm -hmm. The Divine. This is telling you to continue to trust the process because somebody is coming to read those rules with you, my dear. Your boundaries. The Hierophant card also speaks of marriage. Five is about... Fives are also bringing into mind temperance. This is your ancestors mixing those waters, understanding that your journey was hard and unclear. Realizing that you had to balance your foot between worlds in order to get your compass in the right direction. This was about you overcoming conflict and a, and a, a great amount of loss which brought on this change, this change for you to rebuild. And we have the one here. Ones are about new beginning. It brings into mind um, the magician. This is about you tapping into your potential, understanding that you have all of the tools as above, so below. These are about opportunities coming toward you. Ones is about new beginnings in love, life, um, your will, your passion, your drive. Mm -hmm. We will move swiftly to the rooms. Oh. The first room that has come out, can you see this? Because the light is so funny. It's daggers. Is that better? This is represented by the letter D. It's representing dawn. This is about new beginnings. It also brings into mind the full card. This is about you tapping into your intuition. Healing that light that you have within. Because, my dear, it is a beacon. It's going to be attracting all sorts. Mm -hmm. This is why you need to use your intuition and tap in with your third eye. Consult the divine when people are approaching. Because this is destiny. Mm -hmm. This is about luck and fate being on your side. The primal law. Mm -hmm. This is represented by the letter P. So you have a D and a P. Divination, destiny, luck, death. Oh. This was the right reading for you, my function. Choosing yourselves. Nothing wrong with that. Self love. Mm. The last letter we have is the letter A. It can represent the first or the surname. Of a person. This is represented by An Ansos. This is Odin. This is about God. This is the ancestors. I told you they are surrounding you at this moment in time. You are being wrapped in comforting arms because you are a prototype. You broke a generational curse, my Phoenician. You may be thinking, me, I just saw 11 11. Yes, you did. Close your eyes and make a wish. Harness that energy, my Phoenician. Mm-hmm. Let's get the cards out. I'm going to be doing the um a Celtic cross today, changing it up a little bit. Where is um I'm looking on the floor for my cards. Wowzers! Not of it! What's going on? Let's bring this energy up. Mm -hmm. 
God, please. What's going on? God's running off like a wheelbarrow. What's going on? I was going to pick that one that jumped out then. Okay. We have cloak, concealment. But also I see two trees here. It reminds me of the two pillars of, of um, wisdom, Boaz and Jashin. Completion and beginning. A situation has been completed for you, my finishing. Something that was extremely heavy on you, kept you cloaked. You had to cloak your true identity, your true self in that situation. You had to be concealed. But can you see the light? You are moving towards the light, Caroline. You are coming out of that tomfoolery. You are no longer being of other worth. Do I go with another one of these? Yes. Bebe, what did I just say? Containment. This is um this is about your gifts. They are bubbling to the surface now. You are finding that you are tapping into to um your audio, your all of your senses. Some of you are clear audience, clairvoyant. Some of you are even going into mediumship, I'm getting. Okay, we've got we've got dark, a lot of dark yellow around here. So there's a lot there's a lot of jealousy being directed at you, my Phoenician. Mm -hmm. Some people are sick with jealousy. Those mouth breathers, they're always turning up. But you are at this moment in time, you are bubbling, over bubbling. It's in fact, spilling over with joy and internal joy. Some of you, your solar plexus are now being activated. Mm-hmm. And we all know when a soul look plexus is active, you are confident, okay? You are, listen, you are spot on with your problem solving, okay? This is about your integrity. It is also the third tracker which brings into the mind the Kundalini energy as well as Empress energy. This is about you knowing your worth. This is about continuous growth. Some of you may also be concealing a pregnancy. Pourquoi? Why? Why? We, on the base of the deck, we have cleansing. Mm -hmm. Some of when you were feeling restricted from cleaning certain spirits, certain people out of your life. But you had to realize. You have to get Sesame Street up in this bitch and realize one of these things is not quite like the other. You can't be an awakened being and partying with Beelzebubs. No, the shepherds have, of the devil had to go. They had to go, right? Because these people was breaching your spiritual boundaries. They wanted you to be open with this cleansing so that you was unprotected, so that you could take on whatever they was trying to pour into you, right? We have the Watchtower of the South. This is represented by fire energy. This speaks of a new passion, right? You are going to be seeing the fruits of your labor. I told you. See that sunflower? You was able to grow and function under Guatanimo Bay conditions, my solutions. Uh -uh. It also brings into mind... Um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about you attracting true abundance into your life now, my solution. Mm -hmm. As I sips my Colombian from my bone china. Yes, baby. Mm hmm. Justice card. Okay, this is Libra energy. Mm -hmm. This is telling me that you've achieved a great freedom from making a hard choice. Could be to cleanse yourself. Some of you could have been concealing a pregnancy. See, this could also mean not going through with a pregnancy in order to bring yourself out of this um 
I'm going to be in entrapment with these unclean spirits. This is also speaking of a divorce. Mm -hmm. This is good luck in court, court cases as well as competitions. Karmatic justice is being dealt out. This is the cause and effect of a situation. Some of you are going through legal matters and they will turn out in your favor. The next card to fall out, which was crossing it, is the Wheel of Fortune, I told you. Guaranteed good luck, we already saw that out. Mm -hmm. Two major arcana, this is being divinely guided. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy and this is Jupiter Thursday. Tap into that good luck and that energy. This could also be you winning in gambling of some form. Some of you guys are taking a chance in a legal situation, going into it blind. But my dear, you have the file, you have the goods. The wind just blew off this card, it's telling us whatever the opposition is concealing, a light will be shone on it. Justice will be served in your favor, my Phoenician. Mm -hmm. This Wheel of Fortune also speaks about happiness. As I said, it's a win on the lottery, a fated win. This is about your life taking an unexpected turn, a turn where justice is on your side, a situation where you had to conceal your emotions. You even had to conceal your intelligence. See how the red is loosely wrapped around this emissary of justice as they hold the scales. Mm -hmm. With this wheel of fortune crossing it, this is absolutely auspicious. Your current influences right now is one of good luck fate, destiny. Be determined, my solution. Stand your ground, Scotty. Mm -hmm. What is beneath you? Okay, we have the page of swords in the reverse. My goodness gracious. Mm-mm. Baby. Revelations 220. This is the Jezebel spirit. Good golly gosh. The mouth breather has arrived. Yes, baby, they've turned up. They've turned up and they've turned up the hate with their immature energy. Uh -uh. They want you walking on a hot tin roof. Okay. And they are beneath you in the correct position. Mm -hmm. This Page of Swords character, okay, is represented by air and earth energy, okay? This person is mentally unstable, extremely emotionally cold. They don't have many friends. They wouldn't know what a, a friend if they tripped over one in the dark. Okay? This could be the immature energy that you're cutting away. And they are not enjoying this cutation. This person is a liar, a dimwit, a bad news bear, a malicious. They're a malicious gossip. All they do is talk about you. You are more important than the news. Good golly gosh, this is oh, this is untenable, my solution. This mouth breathing energy. Don't worry, we will have a look at them in a moment. But this is you releasing that energy. And it is has been the best decision you ever made. A 10 is about an ending of a solution situation. Solution. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the past, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. The Ace of Wands is represented by fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is about you uh, having the confidence to embrace and a change. This is also my my passion card, my deep card. This is this is telling me that you was up in your root chakra in the past there's a lot of red around here love a lot of um, low vibrant sexual energy mm -hmm. you was wasting a lot of time in the past you was not making your dreams a reality mm -hmm. this is why that situation had to be cut out you was dealing with a comedian Yes, baby, somebody who liked to do the big switcheroo on you. Somebody who had community genitalia. Good golly gosh. Yes, baby, that's exactly what they had. Mm -mm. 
Uh, what is above you? What is coming down? Five is about, in the fifth position, this is about recent past events. Come on, come through. We want to know. Recent past events. Okay. Ooh. Some of you, this is about you filling up your own cup. The Ten of Cups, you've got two tens. You completed a situation with somebody who was a what? A mattress back. A cum bucket. An animal in a kitten deal. A Beyonce. A fake one. That is nobody's destiny's child. No one's. Mm -hmm. That's what you did. Right? This Ten of Cups is represented by uh, Pisces energy as well as Mars energy. Okay? In your recent past, you've become aligned with joy. You are experiencing true friendships. This is about you calling in your true soul family, a community, feeling complete somewhat. This is you building bonds. The garden represents the fertility in these new relationships that you are seeing. Mm -hmm. This new change has brought a lot of happiness. It's also opening doors to enlightenment. This also brings into mind a happy union. Because you have balanced out your chakras, balanced out yourself through your dark night of the soul, your, your cup is open and, and ready for that true divine love to come through. Mm -hmm. What is your future influences? I saw the five of Beauty Calais flash out. This you coming in from the call. Yes, baby. Come on. Future influences. Okay, this jumped into my hand. This is healing from heartbreak. Yeah, from this, right next to this page, this immature energy, this gossip. This teller of bad things. This is Libra energy. Okay, as well as Jupiter, um, Saturn energy. Your heart is healing. You are finding true foundation and stability. Okay, you clutch your heart, hand over heart. I know everything is transposed because this is a video. Mm -hmm. Wearing that purple dress of wisdom. Understanding your nobility, your prototypicness, tapping into your dignity, using that wisdom to stay away from these dick healers. Healing from that shiznay. OMG, this is this calls for another square. A square of absolute delight and pleasure. Mm -hmm. Lint orange excellence with almonds, dark chocolate. Got to keep me strength up. Pinkies up, don't you know? Mm -hmm. Your heart is healing because you had no spiritual protection, no true guidance in that situation. The divine is gifting you with the big pentacle. Mm -hmm. We, you have all have pentacle to, to achieve this emotional foundation. Mm -hmm. This is prosperity and abundance of all kinds, spiritually, mentally, physically, all kinds, even abund abundance of new incoming information. Some of you will be getting abundance from the settlement of these court cool cases that are going on. Mm -hmm. The Three of Swords also talks about you being able to confront those feelings that was keeping you tied to this sadness and loss, this sense of betrayal. You was traumatized for sure. This is about you using that pain and learning growth, okay? In your seventh position, which is your present attitude, 
Okay, Pentecost can let me say. We have the six of pentacles. This is represented by Taurus energy as well as moon energy. So this is about you being able to speak what you want into existence. Again, we see the scales of balance surrounded by the sun. This is Leo energy. And as we all know, Leo is the fifth house. This is about learning to express yourself. This is also somebody offering you Look, Libra energy, and we see Libra is justice. Somebody is offering you the chance to be balanced out. Okay? Mm -hmm. The Six of Pentacle also tells us about wealth, love, and peace. This is about you being in a position now to help others. Some of you are becoming humanitarians. Don't you know Pinky's up? You are understanding through the giving. You are getting. Mm hmm. All I see, I see fate, I see destiny, I see good luck, I see a big pile up in the jelly. Mm -hmm. I see you healing that heart chakra from the starvation. I see those mouth breathers with the children of the corner still watching, still waiting for your downfall. Mm -hmm. Because this three and this page has got four swords around them, so that goes to seven of swords. It's the deep dealer. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. The deep dealer is a community genitalia. Mm -hmm. The one that caused the breakation to your heart chakra, which propelled you into prototype status. My illusion. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let that set into your into your brain chakra. I don't think you fully understand your greatness. This is why you had to question and have another read on just you again today. Mm -mm. Get out. Get out of that other worth. Get out of that other worth. I'm in the 20 doors because it's what? You was dealing with what? A proverb 31 1. Revelations 2 20. There was a true Jezebel. True Jezebel. Easter Island, I say. Stevie Wonder in this bitch. Jezebel that you was dealing with this person breadcrumbed you right and because there's so many scales here you was unequally yoked with this person so you would have never been able to truly manifest you went into that situation into that marriage blindly you believed there's a hair on the table it's getting on my nerves it's gone now you believed what they had to say but it was full gazy. Can you see the clouds? The clouds around the justice. Right? Mm -mm. Let's get back into this. It's heating up, Scotty. Okay? On the base of the deck, we've got the five of wands. This person is still in secret competition with you, darling. Either them or them or who, who their familiars are that they're consorting with. In a carnal way. Whoever has their attention has them by the root chakra. Good. Oh. Stuck in other words. Yeah. This moon energy is drawing my eye. The moon. Okay. The moon rules, rules cancer as well as Pisces. This is about your emotions, your felines, your felines, your feelings, your inner self. The moon also represents the second house. This is Taurus energy, your finances, your stability. Mm -hmm. They want it. Listen, told you it was only equally yoked, right? In your external influences, look. This is the nine of swords. 
okay in the upright this is you being unable to eat unable to sleep anxious nervous can't think straight but in the reverse we have it look on this particular deck i believe it's um tower of dreams okay can you see that and all of that oh i just gave a spiritual birth it's the truth there was directing a lot of negativity towards you whether it was by spell or by word mirror magic they was but in the reverse baby return to sender your ancestors are making sure that it lands where it needs to be with the person who sent it the mouth breather with the children of the corn eyes yes them that one Mm-hmm. Yes, baby. This nine of swords is telling me that you have let go of that unhealthy situation that kept you unbalanced, that you was unequally yoked to my solution. Mm-hmm. This nine of swords also tells me that you have let go of those negative experiences. You are overcoming the grief. Look. Look what fell on the floor. You are overcoming the grief. Divine wanted me to highlight that she's named to you again. You are overcoming what they try to keep you trapped in. A lot of mental energy. Listen, that trauma bond, right? It is ruminating thoughts. Stop living on what they did to you in the past because you will call it into your future. You are in prime manifestation mode prototype. Pull yourself together. Get your, get your mind right. Stop feeding yourself bull swanky, right? Because that's plagiarism of the mind. And it is nothing but what? Blood clot. Repeat after me. Blood clot. Stop that ruminating thoughts and come out of it. Because you've let go. Your ancestors want you to let go. And nine brings into mind arm um, fruition. The hermit as well as the moon. That person was full of lies and, and more lies. And lies on top of lies. They served you at lie at breakfast, lunch and dinner. As well as mind fuckery. Try to zap you in the, in the head chakra at every turn. And they left you with the gift that keeps on giving. Mm-hmm. We're not having that. We're not having They wanted you to be stuck in other worlds, but you need to understand Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For the grace of God, you survived that spiritual quarantine. And you have to remember that it was a gift from the divine. There's a lot of people that couldn't survive that. They've taught themselves. They look at all my cards full. Listen, they were full of confusion. Some of them have taught themselves. Right? They went into the dark night of the soul and they never came out. And if they did come out, they're barking at car, past car, passing cars. They're cray cray, cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Mm -hmm. That's what was going on. Let me turn the wind away. It's blowing away the candles. It's blowing my weave into my mouth. Right? Why is this keep falling on that? That person wanted you to keep you in lockdown, contained by their by their nether regions. Turn yourself into a eunuch around those people, places, or things. You don't need it. There's nothing wrong with celibacy. There is strength in celibacy. There is magic in celibacy. There is clarity and wisdom in celibacy. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else do we need to know? Okay. Final outcome. What did I tell you? Look at all of these swords on the table. A lot of mental energy. Swords is air energy. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? 
this is about you you being animated now, right? Swords is about communication. Be animated with your communication because you are not mentally trapped anymore. You've come out of the trapation of the mind. You've gone from a nine to an eight, both in the reverse, don't you know? Pinkies up! I love this microphone. I can change my voice. Right? Because this eight of swords in the reverse. Oh, I'm so hot. Right? It's represented by Gemini energy as well as Jupiter energy. You did do it for the right. I'm sure if you made the right choice. When you did, you did. You made that right choice. You are no longer having sleepless nights. You're no longer concerned with deep dealers. You are no longer concerned about the back front next tubbers. No, because your mind is wise and open to the divine. What was this bitch? Oh, that one sounded scary. Hello? Yes, this is me. Uh huh. What I'm saying is that the sword is about um, um, downloads from the divine. Okay, it's about your spiritual energy, your spiritual life. I love this mic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa I love. Mm -hmm. Let me come away from the mic, right? This is about you having a mental understanding of the situation. You have them file, and their file is a pamphlet, a see through pamphlet that you must float over the bin. Mm -hmm. There was a block of your destiny. You was unequally yoked in this situation, whether it was a family member, um, a love relationship.